Three, two, one. What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button as it helps our channel grow. Today's video will be kicking off by doing a classic physics experiment. Perhaps you might do this in your science classroom or perhaps in your physics classroom. But if you don't have either at your high school, no worries. This is an experiment that you can do from your house and it's pretty fun, exciting, and a simple thing to do. The video that we'll be talking about today is a classic egg drop experiment. Now don't worry where I got this egg. Give me that, give me, give me a Oh, thanks. The main point of this experience is to throw an egg from a building in a perfect parabolic motion so that it hits a person on the ground. The point of this experiment is to protect your egg at all costs when you drop it from a building. Now in high school, I did it from uh, my high school football team's bleachers, which are approximately three to four stories tall, right Gary? All right, but for this point, we're gonna take it to the next level and we're gonna drop it from one of the tallest buildings here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Now, there's a bunch of ways you can do this experiment. I mean, if you wanna challenge yourself, sure, you can make it using materials less than $5. You can make it with using the fewest materials. But in our case, we're gonna do the simplest one, which is just using the cheapest things that you can buy at store. I mean, it doesn't have to be something sophisticated. And as we'll show, a simple toilet paper can protect your egg and make sure it doesn't break. So before we get started with the experiment, I'm gonna take you through some little bit of physics so you get the point of how to protect your egg from a physical standpoint. Now, let's get started. Bruh. <laughs> Dissipate the force of the egg hitting on the ground. Similar to how airbags work, a good way to protect your egg is to increase the time it takes for your egg's momentum to change. For the impact approach, we are increasing the time and thus minimizing the force felt by the egg as it hits the ground. The physics behind this comes from our equation for force and momentum. Force times time equals mass times the velocity of the object. In this rather simple design, I have removed the current that's in between the toilet paper, placed the egg, in hopes that the cushion around it will delay the time and dissipate the force felt by the egg so it's very little. Oh. Oh, no. Alright, so the first design didn't work. We're gonna try it with this big paper towel. The egg's in there right now. We're gonna drop it and see it works. I think personally the reason why the other one didn't work is because the toilet paper landed on its side so this time I'm gonna try to make sure I drop it at an angle just to take into account if there's any wind and then we'll see if it works but it should work I'm more confident with this one simply because it's more cushion and it should um, increase the time before the egg feels the impact uh, hopefully it works so Gary's gonna be filming from the bottom so we got you guys We did it. Woo. That's a dub, boys. That's a dub. 10 plus fours, 11. Increase drag. Drag is basically the air resistance that our egg will face as it falls. The egg by itself is fairly round and aerodynamic, meaning it will break easily on its own. See, the physics behind dropping an egg isn't all that complicated. But if you're confused about some of the physics we talked about or are curious about some other topics, check out these two great physics resources. Van Beesen's YouTube channel. It's freaking great. I used it in high school, highly recommend it. MIT Blossoms. This website is full of resources for teachers and students alike to help further education in high school physics. Now back to the video.
All right, so for this second design, we want to increase the air drag. Therefore, we want to reduce the velocity by which the egg will be landing. So in order to do that, we've attached these balloons to make it sort of parachute style. We've also used the toilet paper and coverings of the inside as a base. And then we've used uh, these uh, pipes, uh, straws to kind of reduce. So when it hits the impact that it's taking, it's felt by the straws rather than the egg. And as you notice closely, and if you notice closely into the design, all these straws are not pointing directly to the egg. So it shouldn't really feel an impact coming from the straws. Hopefully the egg doesn't um, break. So it survives another day. Um, it could serve as breakfast for me tomorrow. So we'll give it a try right now. Thanks. Let's get to it. Two, one. Oh! Oh, bro! Yo! We did it. We did it. break. We did it, boys. All right, we're ending this video just like that. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe if you want to see more cool experiences like this. We hope you guys learned something. Those balloons effectively work. And make sure to check our website, www.sitees.org. Thank you, guys. Oh, my goodness. That hurt. I literally saw him bite me. <laughs> now I got a one-year-old, zero, zero, zero. That's when my bank account balance is a hit. I got a chick from the shop. Right. Yeah, yeah. I bought a plane to get out of state. I got me a shorty from Runaway. Said I'm in town today. She said she's coming over and she's down to stay. I got a hit. Oh.